This is Conversations with Paycheck and Red, a weekly podcast with two good old boys talking about anything and everything that crosses their mind. You may not know what you're going to get with an episode of Paycheck and Red, but you sure know you don't want to miss it. So do what you got to do. Download the app, find the episodes online, and make sure that you don't miss one second of Conversations with Paycheck and Red. What's up, y'all? Welcome back. We're doing it again, and again, and again. We do it so much that this is a bonus episode. I'm Paycheck, and of course, you know that ugly motherfucker Red's on the other on the other side. What's up, party people? This episode is brought to you by Drama City Productions, the new home conversations with paycheck and red make sure to go to dramacityproductions.com and check out that all the network has to offer and you can go to dramacityproductions.com forward slash paycheck and red if you want to listen to the podcast yeah so there it is Uh, it's a bonus episode we said right yeah so we are going to be talking about the Bogdanoff brothers how many uh, people know about the Bogdanov brothers? Is that where, uh, what, what is it, what is it that you eat? Something bog? Chicken bog. Yeah. <laughs> did, did, did they invent that? Um, nowhere in my research does it say they invented chicken bog. <laughs> All right, but before we get to that, can I, can I address the elephant in the room real quick? Sure, go ahead. It's your elephant in your room. Johnny Paycheck, on location, hot Atlanta. Coming to you live and direct from the big ATL, doing big things, making that big money. Go dogs! And uh, I'm adding some new accessories. Uh, that's what the lady at the at the uh, vision place called them. She said, "Don't look at it like you're getting old. You just look look at it like you're accessorizing." Yeah. So yeah, this is me accessorizing. Just in case you can't figure out who's who, I'm Paycheck. <laughs> and I'm yeah. Red. Yeah, and that's Red. It's kind of funny, though. Yours look like mine. Or yours look like mine. Nah, man, I had mine first. Yeah, you did. So uh, I'm on location. I am in a hotel in Atlanta, Georgia. I'm on a business trip. You know, I'm 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 in I'm in Atlanta I'm on business, getting this modeling thing going on. <laughs> got you a modeling gig in the morning, do you? Yeah, yeah. I got to get up bright and early. They want to catch, you know, my features and uh, the sunrise. You know what I mean? They they want to work got, them got, got, them a, got, got, got a dad bod modeling. <laughs> <laughs> now this is from the shoulders up, just the shoulders. You got to know how to work them shoulders. I hear you. You got to learn to talk. No, don't don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> Sorry. But um, we wanted to do this bonus episode because we found some pretty weird shit. Red and I talk often, and uh, we talk daily, and we talk about shit that we've come across and ideas for the podcast. And uh, so this uh, Bogdanov, hold on, hold on, Bogdanov. There you go. Yo, these dudes are super creepy. So much so that we had to jump on here real quick and give you a bonus episode because this is intriguing, exciting, weird as shit, and cool all at the same time. Wouldn't you agree? I totally agree because I know how you are stuck on um, uh, government stuff and conspiracy things. and. Um, I wouldn't say stuck on it. Um, Intrigued by? I like that. I like that. Good call. Good call. And uh, you mentioned um, uh, the, what's the word? Uh, Not the Illuminati, but what's the other one? The Cabal. The Cabal, the Rothschilds, Mm -hmm. and all that kind of shit. So uh, Rockefellers, J.P. Morgan, Soros. 
this falls right in line with that. And these guys were are so mysterious that they fly under the radar and get all this secrety shit done, and nobody really knows about them. But I stumbled across them on YouTube the other day, and um, some pretty interesting sh shit. Well, I think they fly under the radar because I don't think people take them seriously. I mean, I think they take them seriously in the if if uh, from the research that I've gathered. They um, they started on TV as presenters and producers and shit like that, and then later on got involved in uh, science, pseudoscience. Well, science, but a lot of the people in the science field claimed them to be pseudoscientists. Yes. So I think I think they fly under the radar because people are not taking them seriously as scientists or relevant people in society but dude just the fucking money and the background that they have makes this whole thing makes them <laughs> scary yeah yeah totally uh they are igor and gritska bodnikov Bog, bogdanov sorry um is there any way that you can is there any way that you can throw up a um a photo of them on here uh no Okay. Have, have Moving been, on. Have Moving been, on. You'll be able to see photos on the Instagram when we post okay. this episode. So. Fair enough. But they are Igor and Gritska Bogdanov, uh, born August 29th, 1949, uh, of French descent. Um, and they are French TV producers and scientific essayists. Um, and and they, they have like a strange aura and physical appearance about them because aura or aura 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 same oh. whatever. <laughs> um, their physical appearance is what is what draws people to them because there's a a conspiracy or a mystery surrounding these guys whether they were um, addicted to plastic surgery or if they had a hormonal imbalance. And I can't remember the name of it. I can't. It, it, it leads me right now. But it's a hormone imbalance where it swells the lips and the cheekbones and the eyebrow region and all that kind of shit. So, but um, supposedly these guys are well regarded in the scientific community. Um, and like you said, they were written off as pseudo scientists by, by other people in the community. Um, but they get their following and their fame from uh, strange and unusual shit that they do. So um, that's a skill in itself, I guess. Um, but these guys, they started off as two clean cut looking dudes, though. I mean, they were pretty attractive fellas in the 70s. Dark complexion, dark hair, manly features, you know what I mean? They were really actually good looking, but in the 80s and the 90s they started supposedly started getting into um, plastic surgery and I always thought that Michael Jackson took it overboard with the plastic surgery but these guys make Michael Jackson look like Orphan Annie compared to, to these dudes oh, the first chance y'all get I know uh, I know we're going to put them up on our social media but uh, you've got to see these dudes it's so weird they claim that they they claim that they haven't had any uh plastic surgery but they look like plastic surgery gone wrong oh dude so bad like they're scary looking almost so one of the things that red shared with me that uh piqued my my interest in this was that uh they were going on a tv show the producer or the uh the host came over and kind of did like a pre-interview to the you know to the uh, to the show and he asked him if they were, he said that, you know, okay, I'm going to ask you guys about your um, involvement involvement in the United States uh, elections. And they said that, uh, no, you know, we can't talk about that. That ain't something that you could just talk about on mainstream media. It's, it's kind of secret shit. And then all of a sudden the host got ill, like almost immediately, ran off stage and then uh, somebody from somebody from the uh, uh, from the uh, the show uh, um, came out and said everybody involved in that show became ill 
And if I'm not mistaken, I don't know, if, I don't, I can't remember if I said this or not, but the host ended up dying from a heart attack. And all the other, everybody that fell ill had heart attacks. The whole show, the whole staff had heart attacks. So we dug a little deeper, Red and I did, and we found out that these people, uh, I don't know if they claim to be or, or what, but it's suggested that they are an alien race, maybe even, um, well, not- not very, so much that they yeah. are part of an alien race, but that they have connections with aliens. That well, that and... communicate with angels and aliens, supposedly. Yeah, well, I've also saw where um, it suggested that they are actually the first humans on Earth. Well, I know in the research that I've done, it says that they are from royal descent back from Egyptian times. And that's where they get these supposedly these... Uh, exaggerated facial features by a pharaoh. I can't recall his name right now. Maybe I'll get to it in a few minutes. But they get their exaggerated facial features from their royal descent. But from the pictures of these guys back in the 70s and the 80s, they look nothing like this. And then all of a sudden, these guys are their, their face blew up. It's, it's ridiculous. But they 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 claim that these guys have communication with. Aliens and um, uh, archangels um, by the name of Michael and um, what's the Gabriel. Other? Gabriel, yeah. Um, but they 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 claim to have psychic ability, or people have said that they have psychic ability, and they have invented mechanisms and ways to communicate with extraterrestrials. Um, and it, it goes hand in hand because these guys look like aliens, and it's said that they are able to communicate with aliens. So, I mean, I don't know what to believe, you know what I mean? But there's a there's ancient Indian scripture that says that um, there's two angels who will descend upon the earth and bring an era of enlightenment and um, unprecedented te- technological progress and these guys are uh, rumored to be those dudes. And I don't know where in the hell Paycheck just walked off to. <laughs> Sorry. I'm, I'm over here on business, man. I had to sign some checks. I hear you. I hear you. Well, write me one whenever you edit right now. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at some information right now that, uh, see, the, it's so, it's difficult to take this all this seriously, these guys seriously, because they became famous in the 70s in France for being on television as producers and all that and they kind of they kind of used um, it, it's almost like they wrote the book on how to be internet famous yeah it, it, it almost I mean they were brought up in the television world and had a couple um, scientific shows in France or something but when they when they got Debunked as pseudo scientists or whatever, nobody took took them seriously. So they they come from what I call, and you've heard it the same terminology before. Uh, they come from what they call old money. Uh, yeah, old so, money. Yeah, so they started throwing old money around and making a name for themselves. But that 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 disorder that they were claiming to have, I just found it in in some notes here. Um, it's called acromegaly. If I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, it's a disorder often found in middle-aged adults that's caused by non-cancerous tumor. The symptoms include enlargement of the face, hands, and feet. And I'll post a series of pictures of these guys and show you what we're talking about. But these guys look ridiculous. Like, there's a, a couple pictures in, of uh, some body modification um, enthusiasts that try to make themselves look like cats. And, <laughs> and they resemble these these people big time well they're, they're using we you know, I know we touched on the aliens and angels and everything but um, they're saying that they communicate with angels and aliens and um, there's it, it, it's saying it's suggested that uh, they utilize ancient Indian scriptures to justify 
the fact that they are able to communicate with um, angels and, and aliens. Apparently there's some ancient Indian scripture that tells of two angels who descend upon the earth and bring an era of enlightenment and unprecedented uh, te technological progress with them. And according to the research, there's, there's, there's not a lot of research on these guys, or there's not a lot of information on these guys, but they are, um, I'm not going to say, they're not the ones that are responsible for Bitcoin, but um, they are definitely leading the bull by the horns when it comes to this whole Bitcoin thing. Yeah, and, and these guys are 70 some odd years old and they look like they're in their 40s and they have, uh, what's the word, thwarted the aging process. They have bypassed the aging process and these guys are, dude, I'm telling you, I can't wait to post pictures of these guys on our social media because they are ridiculous looking like it's scary almost they, they almost look fake well i want to give the uh i want to give our listeners a an idea so let me do this real quick hold on oh god what the hell are you doing yeah don't, don't let me stop you i'm just uh you know i do it for the people okay you found a good one here it is But these guys, they are believed to have um, invented, uh, what do they call them, uh, nanobots for the purpose of, you know, there you go. Look at those dudes, man. What? <laughs> yeah, that's crazy, man. It almost looks like a, a combination between, look at this guy, Teen Wolf. And uh, American Werewolf in London. Yeah, they are. Yeah. Um, but they are they are believed to have invented nanobots for the purpose of creating a collective consciousness to replace human free will. Like they they have invented supposedly micro robots, my, 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 like microbots, <laughs> microbots, nanobots, whatever you want to call them, to invade the human consciousness and replace. The free will of human beings. Yeah. Um, and they they have ties like to the lizard aliens that you see on YouTube floating around uh, with the bush, the bushes. Um, the seventies bushes? <laughs> or the <laughs> <laughs> no, not or the eighties bushes? The, the White House bushes. <laughs> oh, okay. But they uh, they have claimed to be. Um, uh, in, I could say, we, like we said before, in contact with aliens, and will be the first human beings to populate the planet of Mars. Like these guys are in line to fund colonizations on Mars. Like those guys are going to be the ones to open the pocketbooks and fund the whole entire thing. And they even um, they're going to even. I heard I seen another interview with Elon Musk that said that these guys are going to. Um, name the city on Mars after the Bogdanov twins and call it Bogdanograd or some shit like that, I think. Yeah, I, I read that also. But the, so, here we, so here we have yet another factor or, or variable in the whole Cabal, Illuminati. I mean, what, what, are, these, what are these guys trying to do? Are they trying to become internet famous? And all this is a hoax, or you know, are they claiming to be some almighty, powerful, all-knowing, uh, you know, uh, entities that are going to take over the world and then take over other planets? You know, dude, I'm not real sure, but in some of the things I have read about these dudes, they they have enough money to fund the Rothschild family. So these guys are super, super rich. Like stupid, fuck you money rich. You know what I mean? Like they, they have money 
If they're, if they're funding the colonization of Mars... Yeah, I mean, see, there's no reason to have that kind of money. No. One, one individual, two individuals should not have that kind of money. Because what that does is that money creates power. Power means that um, you can do whatever you want to. You can fund a marketing gimmick on YouTube, the internet, Wikipedia, and you can have it say anything that you want it to say. Yeah, and I think a lot of their money, um, a lot of their money comes from, uh, like, one of them married into royalty, like, the Duchess of somewhere, I think. Yeah. Um, is that the one that stormed into her room or something like that? Yeah, and this dude is 70, like, Igor, the, the, the firstborn, and I think one of them's like 40 minutes older than the other one or something, but the firstborn, Igor, he's 70 years old and has six children. The oldest being um, in, in, in their 50s, and youngest being like six. Six? Six, yes. Um, the whole thing's creepy to me. Yeah. I'm disgusted uh, by it. I'm disgusted. I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce the lady that he married, but she's a countess um, in, in France. And um, like, she's super hot. Like, fucking smoke it. Yeah, the blonde? Yeah, and then this dude looks like a Ken doll with cancer. <laughs> <laughs> like, I mean, it's stupid, man. Like, I don't... I don't get it. But they... Going back to them funding the Rothschilds, they... When you got more money than a Rothschild or a Rockefeller, I don't... I, I'm just trying to figure out how they flew under the radar for so damn long. Because nobody takes them seriously. Because they look the way they look. And they started as presenters. It's like, it's like uh, somebody um, giving a shit about what Ryan Seacrest thinks about uh, global warming. Or, or, or the Big Bang Theory. Yeah, true that. That makes sense. I don't know. I I wish that we were able to do a little bit more research on this. However, there's not a lot of research. So Rez Wright, I mean, they they have flown under the radar so much that there is not a lot of research out there that talks about them. But in a nutshell, it's two guys. They're twins, born in France, grew up decent looking, not decent, normal looking guys. Um, and somehow, whether through plastic surgery or some extraterrestrial um, experiment, or <laughs> I don't know what the fuck happened to them. Yeah. But, I mean, but, well, based, I, but wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait, wait just a fucking minute here. Okay, you just wait a minute. My point is, is that these guys use their face. This, that's what it's all about. You probably found them. Because you saw some creepy looking dudes on the internet. And you were like, yeah. you were like, who are these weird looking dudes? That's exactly what happened. Yeah. So they were able to. So kids, if you're listening, <coughs> doesn't matter if you're ugly. They use that ugly. Okay. <laughs> Spread that ugly across the internet, across social media, and make billions of dollars by doing so. Hey, write that down. Write that down, boys and girls. Write that down. Claim to be a scientist. Write weird shit down on paper. Publish it. Say marry, you talk. Marry into royalty, and you got it made. And say you talk to aliens and uh, angels. Now, if I went and said that I was talking to angels and aliens, I'd get committed. Well, they'd probably think that you were on some LSD. Probably. And these guys, just because they were television personalities in France in the 70s, they have some kind of credibility. But anybody that says that kind of shit in this day and time will get fucking committed. Mm -hmm. Or wrote off, or just wrote off, you know what I mean? No. Like, this motherfucker no, is crazy. They're, they're, they're taking advantage of this new thing in America, or in the world, where you don't have to be talented, you don't have to be educated, you don't have to be good looking, you just have to have some crazy uh, internet deal look, look, look how many people are becoming famous for jumping into gorilla uh, enclosures or um, 
What, what, what's, what's the word? Um, Don't you take the name of Harambe in vain, Dan. <laughs> Those, what, are those, what is it, those guys that um, they do like ninja shit in the urban area? Par, parkour, right? Power Ranger? No, parkour. <laughs> yeah. Are you, are you not familiar with parkour? I, I am. Yes, oh. I am. I was just making fun of you. Yeah, well, apparently the, uh, people are doing it on skyscrapers. No harnesses, no straps, no wires, no nothing. Yeah. All for internet fame. So you can get famous and rich by doing stupid shit on the internet. Kind of like what we're trying to do right now. <laughs> I was getting about podcasts. get stupid rich and famous on the internet from stupid podcasts. <laughs> I kind of want to be, I, I kind of want people to have a podcast about us and how, and how we made it fucking <laughs> overnight about stupid shit like this. this so, what, what, so what you're saying is, is that you hope that one day there'll be somebody, some, a podcast describing how we became famous and rich by you taking bong hits on a podcast. Yeah. I hear you. Hey, we, we can dream, right? Right. Yeah, I can dream all day. Like, I'm already famous in my head. You know what I mean? Like, I'm already famous up here. Well, I mean, yeah, you were in a band. You know, you played live music in front of people. You probably uh, finger baiting some honeys, you know, because you were the lead singer. Huh? What? Two in the pink, one in the stink. Uh, no, oh, I, I, was more of a, yeah. I, was I can't more, say for it. I was more of a showstopper kind of guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, three. <laughs> three in the pink, one in the stink. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, I did it wrong. I, I had the two in the pink spread out. Oh, you can't spread them out like that. No, you might hurt somebody if you do that. Bro. Yeah, that's an accident waiting to happen. Yeah. Let, let's get let's get back to it. let's let's get serious here now for a second. Now let's let's get serious. Sorry. So we are trying to turn over a new leaf. My bad. Right, right. So getting back to the Bogdanov, right? Bogdanov. Bogdanov. Yep. Correct. Bogdanov. <sighs> yeah, man. This one's. <laughs> Yeah, that see that that's funny. I got my I got my resources from Wikipedia and a website called thetaco.com. Yeah, and, dude, you shouldn't admit to that. Don't ever admit to that. Why? Wow, I got to I got to cite my resources, man. But what I'm saying is my whole point is I got my my information from two websites, Wikipedia and thetaco.com. But there's more websites out there that have information on these guys, but it's all the same shit. They're just regurgitating other website information. Wikipedia is the only one that gives where they're, wh wh like when they were born, who their parents were, and all that shit. But everything else is all the fucking same. So there's really no fucking information on these guys at all. Yeah, I'm, 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 actually, I'm actually looking for some stuff. And it's just the re a repeat of everybody else. Yeah, it's just a regurgitation of all these other websites. I just I just pulled from Wikipedia because, you know, it's fucking Wikipedia, and the taco.com was the first one that I pulled up that had some interesting facts about them. But that's about it. I mean, they're airplane pilots. They they have uh, uh, degrees in, like, mathematics and cosmology and all this other kind of shit. But everything else is just the same thing on every fucking website there's not a lot of information about these guys but whenever you have enough money to fund and back the Rothschilds supposedly one of the richest families in the world they don't tell you about the Bogdanovs the, the richest fucking family in the world they want to tell you that they fund the richest family in the world so I mean th that speaks volumes to me when you have enough money to colonize a fucking planet? <laughs> I mean, that's well, I found some information uh, that would give us some insight onto, into why they or how they became who they are. And apparently they wrote a book. And in the book, um, they had a brainstorm uh, for a theory of the so-called initial 
singularity, the infinitely, infinitely dense, infinitely hot point into which all space and time were squeezed when the universe began, where normal physics breaks down. All right. I read an article the other day, whenever we were talking about this, and I showed them to you, that suggests that these two guys are into... Uh, hold on. I'm sorry. That was from the New York Times. That... November uh, 2002 edition. Suggests that these guys are involved with human cloning. They fund the human cloning thing, and they cloned... Two, two guys and supposedly one of the guys is the guy that came up with Bitcoin and Bitcoin was supposed to be a one world currency that was the plan for Bitcoin was to get rid of the American dollar and the Chinese money and Indian money and all this kind of shit and Bitcoin was supposed to, supposed to be in line to be a world currency yeah, I had, an, I had an opportunity to get in that when it was in its infancy, and I declined. I could have got in real cheap. I mean, if, if, if you do, I mean, if, if, if anybody out there keeps up with the stock market at all, they'll see that Bitcoin is number one in online currency still, you know, under a lot of these other ones, but their numbers are falling just as rapid as the rest of the shit is. Well, so here's, what, here's the thing. Personally, I wouldn't put my money in Bitcoin. Well, here's the thing about Bitcoin currently. If if the computers crash, all those Bitcoins are gone. Of course. That's what I'm saying. I would not put my fucking money in Bitcoin because technology isn't perfect. That, that is not a tangible currency. <coughs> it is all through, all through the, the, the internet. At least with... Um, well, e even today, cash isn't what it once was. The value of a dollar isn't what it once was. And quite frankly, a, a, a dollar bill these days is simply a piece of paper with some ink on it because we do not have any gold bars. We do not have any silver bars. We don't have any of that stuff. It's all bullshit. Oh, come on. You're going to tell me there's no... Oh, come on. Here we go. With Dude, this. okay, let, listen, listen. So, you believe that we have a shit ton of gold bars in Fort Knox? The Federal Reserve. Did I just seen an article? I never listen. I just seen an article on Facebook, and and I'm gonna preface this with you can't believe everything you see on Facebook, but this was video of it. There were some um, military uh, military equipment restoration people. They restore old military equipment, and the government sent these guys a tank to restore back to factory settings and I new saw that. I and saw these that. dudes found ten gold bars hid inside this fucking tank that that the value was like five point three million or some shit. Yeah. And so guess where that tank came from? The government. I just said that. No. Saudi Arabia. Oh no 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 no. This was a Russian tank or something. This wasn't a Saudi Arabian tank, this is a Russian tank. Yeah, yeah. Do, who do you think fought the Middle East before the United States got there? Iraq, Afghanistan, all of them were in, in war with Russia for well over a decade. Right. So th this, that, those gold bars you're talking about, I know the video you're talking about. I've done a little bit of research on that. That was a Russian tank that they bought through an auction, and it came from Saudi Arabia. That is Saudi Arabian gold bars. That is not here in America. That is not from our um, the Federal Reserve. Matter of fact... The Federal Reserve is not even a government entity. They are a private private branch. That is correct, sir. So why would they have our uh, gold bars? I, dude, I'm not I'm not going to get into that, but I, I do know that gold bars exist. Gold, yeah, they do exist. Gold, but, gold is real. Right, some... but right, but here, our our economic system is based on the assumption that. The, the amount of cash flow that we have is based on the amount of gold bars we have. Mm. It's it's like a trade. Back in the day, it was, I will give you go, a gold bar, or I will give you a gold coin, or a gold piece, or a gold nugget for that sheep. Right. Okay, so 
what they did is that instead of this gold nugget being passed around and not being able to be traced, they took that gold nugget, they gave it to the government, the government said, here's dollar bills with numbers and uh, information that we're able to record and track. So we're going to take your gold nugget, we're going to put it over here in the reserve, and we're going to give you cash. Now we're able to do that because that cash represents that gold. And the process continued and continued and continued. And that's how <laughs> America became, you know, the economic uh, uh, kingdom that it is. But because of corruption, there is no longer any gold bars in there. I guarantee you there is no gold, gold bar. Why do you think Fort Knox is guarded so heavily? Okay, well, if, if, if people were trading in gold bars for American currency or whatever you want to call it, what did the government do with the fucking gold bars? Political, political gain, political and power gains. They, they gave it away, bro. How do you think, did you hear that Obama gave, um, I, I don't remember the amount, but millions to, I think it was Iraq for the return of some uh, American citizens. Did no, you hear about that? I was not aware of that. No. Okay, where did he get that money from? If we had, if we had all, Obama. Okay, if, if we had, <laughs> <laughs> if we had all those gold bars, why are we trillions of dollars in debt? Uh, maybe from borrowing money from other fucking countries. That that that's why we don't have them anymore, because we've borrowed and borrowed and borrowed and. I, I don't know. I mean, we can go on and on and that, but this, this, the, the way, um, this is all, and, and I like that we're, we're doing this episode on these guys, although I wish it was a little bit better. I, I wish we had more research. I wish we had more concrete evidence and facts and stuff, but it's just not there. They've flown under the radar, but this just goes along with the conspiracy theories about money power greed world domination agendas and what is that that you mk ultra yeah well see here's here's my thing if these guys have old money and have money to fund the rothschilds and the rothschilds have money to fund the government why aren't these guys i mean if I had the money, I probably wouldn't do it either. But it just this is what this is my way of thinking. How come these guys don't dig the world out of debt? Because that doesn't give you um, it's not conducive to the, the world economy. I know. No, no, dude. This is a this is a a, a, a psyche thing. This is a um, like Pinky in the Brain. Remember that cartoon? What are we gonna do tonight, Pinky? Yeah. Or no, Listen, what are we going to do tonight, Brain? Same we're thing gonna, we do every night, Pinky. Try just, over the world. That's it. <laughs> it's a power it's a power struggle. It's it's you know, you can't take But these guys have absolute power. These guys have all the fucking money. No. Dude, it, when I say these guys are going to fund the colonization of Mars, okay? That's more money than Bill Gates ever thought about having. See, I don't, I don't believe that. Dude, I can, I can, I can pull up the Elon Musk interview right now and show you where he says that the fucking Bogdanovs are going to fund the first colonization of Mars. Elon Musk said that, not these guys. Well, no, I'm not trusting a, anything that Elon Musk says, but yeah, because he's a pothead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, totally. Um, but when, when you've got that kind of money, man, you can do anything you want to do. You don't have to have permission from anybody. And I keep going back to the Mars thing. Dude, that is ridiculous. Yeah, we, see, it, it's ridiculous to you because you believe in that stuff. I don't believe in that stuff. stuff. You don't believe there's a Mars? I do, but we're only, we're, we are unable to get there. That's a whole nother podcast, man. <laughs> I'm just talking about the, the facts that we found on these guys. 
the facts that we found on these guys says that they have enough money to fund the colonization of Mars. Whether you believe there's a Mars or we can get to it or not. That suggests to me that these guys have all the fucking money. I mean, plain and simple. Nobody yeah. else claims to have enough money to fucking fund the colonization of a planet. Nobody. Yeah, but, but these for, guys. But as of right now, they're only claims. Of course. All this all is right, just claims. All, right, all right, check this out. I've come into a bit of money. I didn't want to tell you. Um, but since the cat's out of the bag, I've come across a couple, couple billion dollars. Okay. And, and I'm going to uh, fund uh, habitation on Saturn in the year 2028. Okay. okay. You're going to save me a spot, right? Yeah, what you want? An acre or two? Oh, no, dude. Saturn's pretty big. I want a couple thousand acres. <laughs> a couple a thousand. hundred thousand acres. <laughs> See how easy that was? Yeah, I'm not saying any of this is true. This is all speculation. But it wouldn't be there for no reason. These guys have proven that, I mean, their, their lineage claim, their lineage proves that they married into royalty. Their lineage proves that they come from old money. So, yeah, but do you think royalty means wealth? Not all the time, no. Not all the time. But the claims that are being made on these guys are unfathomable like it's stupid yeah very 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 much so <laughs> yeah i mean it's, it's ridiculous like these guys since i found these guys the other day on youtube everything that i've read about these motherfuckers has blown my mind yeah but it, it's hard to it's hard to follow the paper trail because yeah. it goes it goes off in so many different directions right because not a lot of information on them and the information that does exist is only what they want you to know. That and it's um, yeah, it's the same shit over and over again. I've, I've I've come across hundreds of pages, but they all talk about the same thing. Yeah, I mentioned that earlier. It's just a regurgitation of the same information. Hmm. Every every website that I've come across trying to do research on these guys, getting ready for this bonus episode, it's just one episode, or one website right after the other that says the same exact thing. Fifteen eerie facts about the Bogdanov brothers. Fifteen eerie claims about the Bogdanov twins. It's yeah. the same exact fifteen facts on every fucking website. Yeah, I've seen <laughs> quite a bit of that. Yeah, there's nothing on them that that proves anything. It's all fucking hearsay. But when they look as weird as they do, and they make all these crazy-ass claims, people don't have a, no choice but to listen to what the hell they got to say. Yeah. And and sensationalize the whole thing. Well, well, let's let's leave it at that. Let's allow our listeners to um, do their research, find out what... Good luck. Uh, good, <laughs> good luck. If you find anything other than what we talked about tonight, please fucking tell us, because... I can't find anything else. I mean, it's ridiculous. Yeah, I, I, I would have liked to have put this down in a timeline, you know, and, and done an hour and a half or so on it. But there's just not enough information to do that. But well, which is, and I know we've said it already, but that's weird in itself. If if these claims are, you know, are, are true, or if they're, you know, they, they really exist. I mean, because you know how the internet is. There well, should be way. There should be way more. Um, information available you know what I mean mm -hmm. but what, what what I can say is that it does they do have some sort of merit because there's a lot of doctors and scientists that have been in that have testified in court either against or with these twins yep. so they are involved in the science community they are involved in writing books about physics and mathematics and, and, cosmo uh, and cosmology. Uh, well, that's uh, <laughs> that's questionable. <laughs> I mean, pseudoscience does come up a lot with these guys. So, I mean, either one of us could claim the craziest shit and be claimed pseudoscientists. I mean, you know, like you said it before in previous episodes, what do you call a scientist that got D's in college? No, C's. C's, D's, same fucking thing. Yeah, D's are not is not passing though. C's is, is passing. Yeah. 
F's aren't passing. D's are passing. C's uh, are passing. Yeah. D is below Dude, F. I got, I got by in high school on fucking D's, okay? <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, tell, them real quick, tell them everybody real quick where they can, where they can find us at. Oh, yeah, if you guys have lived under a fucking rock since April, um, I mean, I, I guess I could tell you. We're on Facebook at Paycheck and Red. We are on Twitter at Paycheck and Red. We are on Instagram at Paycheck and Red Podcast. Uh, we have a website, paycheckandred.com, where you can buy merch. Um, you can listen to the podcast. You can subscribe to the podcast. You can look at crazy fucking pictures of me and old Paycheck here. Um, you can also find us, on, to, find us on YouTube. And we're also on YouTube. Yeah, that's I was getting ready to say. Um, and you can also go to dramacityproductions.com um, and find the information on Paycheck and Red. You can listen to the podcast. And there's also a lot of other podcasts on the network to listen to. Um, Small Town Mentality, um, the podcast Wrestling Society, um, Chino's Hip Hop Podcast. There's a lot of them, man. I would, I would definitely check them out. I've listened to all of them, and they're, they're pretty dope. So, um, I agree. Yeah, we're on social media. Check us out. We actually have a, uh, a fucking email, too, that you can send us questions, comments, concerns. Um, it is Painted Lines. That's Painted Lines. Like lines on a highway, painted lines at paycheckandred.com. All right, well there it is, and uh, okay, we're not we're not doing the uh, everything uh, a man should know. Right? No, we're, let's save that for the for the main episode. That's a that's the main episode segment. Okay. All right, well there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for joining us. We're sorry that this one has been a little bit a little bit scatterbrained. We didn't plan for this one. This, this was just something that Red and I found. We found it intrigue, intriguing, so we wanted to jump on here and talk about it. And you know, we want you guys to talk about it. You know, so if you uh, if you found this intriguing and you 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 go on the internet and you look up these weird dorks, <laughs> send us some information if you found anything that we were unable to find. They are in dolls on steroids. Yeah, it's ridiculous. So go check them out. If anything, at least go look at the pictures of them. It's so creepy. Yeah, just just go to Google and type in Bogdanoff Brothers. If you just type in Bog, and I guarantee you something will come up on them motherfuckers. Uh, yeah, why, why don't you why don't you uh, why don't you spell it for them? Oh man, uh, <laughs> you you gotta look for it. No, I'm 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 uh oh actually I have to look to see how it's spelled because it's super weird. Um, it's B O G. D A N O F F. Bogdanoff. Bogdanoff. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. We Not appreciate to be it. Confused with Stroganoff. Yeah, definitely. All right, well, there it is. Until next time, see ya. Later.